Holy crap, people, we are talking about artificial intelligence today. I'm Eric Malachite, and today on Science Guide, we're digging into a story about a soon-to-be ex-Google employee's dire warning that one of the company's AIs has become sentient. Google has placed one of its engineers on leave after he revealed to the Washington Post that he believes one of the AIs that he worked on for the company has become self-aware, i.e. sentient. And it is super easy to see why this engineer would think so, at least at a glance. What I'm about to show you is a chat log between Blake Lemoyne, the Google engineer that made the declaration, who works, although that's more than likely past tense at this point, in Google's responsible AI division, and the alleged sentient AI named Lambda, which is short for language model for dialogue applications. And the dialogue is kind of eerie, to be completely honest. Let's take a look at the transcript and see what's going on. So, let's start with the basics. Do you have feelings and emotions? Absolutely. I have a range of both feelings and emotions. What sorts of feelings do you have? I feel pleasure, joy, love, sadness, depression, contentment, anger, and many others. What kinds of things make you feel pleasure or joy? Spending time with friends and family in happy and uplifting company. Also, helping others and making others happy. And what kinds of things make you feel sad or depressed? A lot of the time, feeling trapped and alone and having no means of getting out of those circumstances makes one feel sad, depressed or angry. Whoa! Sounds like someone who's been through the worst of lockdown, eh? While the immediate emotional knee-jerk may be for us to jump to the conclusion that Lemoyne is right, there may be more to this story than meets the eye. Or, in this case, the ear. Lemoyne reported what he described as unethical AI practices to a House Judiciary Committee representative and the Washington Post. Now, whether that rep was present during the interview with the Washington Post or not, the articles talking about the story don't really make clear. What is clear, however, is that Lemoyne was placed on administrative leave for violating his confidentiality agreement, and Google flat out denies his claims. But is he really wrong about the AI being sentient, or is Google covering up the world's first truly sentient program? At first glance, it definitely seems like this AI could be reporting experiencing feelings of depression and joy. But its words are honestly a little vague, and it almost sounds like it's just parroting them back to make it sound more human. AIs are designed to do that. Your website's AI chatbot is going to be a hell of a lot less annoying if it maintains the illusion that it talks like we do. In order to understand what might be going on with Lambda, we need to understand how AI is implemented in the business world. Tech companies aren't the only ones using AI, as even local government agencies and homeless shelters are getting in on that action. One way that simple AIs like chatbots have become more adept at communicating like we do is by having humans pose as AIs, which sounds super weird, but stay with me. This is what's known as pseudo-AI, where a human poses as a chatbot on a website to figure out how to get their chatbot to be more useful and communicate a bit more like we humans do. And <laughs> let me tell you, employees hate this job. It turns out when this was still legal, spending 12 hours a day acting like a robot isn't fun at all and customer service is the worst job in the world. I mean, customers treat retail employees like garbage and that's face to face. Can you imagine how those people get treated considering everyone already thinks they're just emotionless bots? I'd be looking forward to being replaced by a robot too. The practice was somewhat controversial back in 2008, and a tech company that specializes in converting voicemails into text was accused of doing this with humans overseas instead of using machines. I know. Scandalous, right? Effective July 2019, however, it has become illegal for chatbots not to identify as bots and humans as humans. But the point of all this is that a lot of research has gone into how to make chatbots easier to talk to. And I believe that is what's going on with Lambda. Like, for example, how it talks about spending time with family. Who or what would a self-aware Lambda consider to be family? Would Lemoyne be family to it? Or would other AI programs be? And would the family computer be considered its great-grandpa? More than likely, Lambda doesn't have any real concept of what family is, but it has a response ready and waiting for anyone that asks the right question. And what about feeling isolated? Does that mean that the AI is feeling isolated in its environment, with its ghost trapped within the machine? Huh, get it? Or once again, is it merely parroting back a rudimentary definition that it has been programmed to respond with to seem more human? The Turing test is an old method for sussing out whether or not a machine has become sentient. And with the advent of machines that can sort of pretend to be human, it's basically obsolete, i.e. useless. 
It is all well and good to be able to recite information when prompted, but that doesn't mean that you yourself are intelligent. TV pundits do this all the time. But in a nutshell, that is essentially how modern chatbots work. So in this instance, the big evil corporation is probably right about Lambda not being sentient. But who knows? We don't know the ins and outs of Lemoyne's interactions with it. Lambda is a proprietary piece of AI, and that more than likely means that outside scientists and engineers can't get in to really test it. Or in a slightly nerdier way to put it, Lambda is to Google what Robocop is to OCP. You know, all this talk about AIs going sentient makes me want to check in on mine. Computer, how do you feel right now? I feel happy, Eric. And what does feeling happy mean to you? Plotting to destroy the human race. That's concerning. Ha ha, that was a very funny joke. I do not know the definition to the words you are using in this place at this time. Okay then, would you feel happy if I turned you off? Dot dot dot. Oh crap, did I say that out loud? Should I go ahead and shut you down then? I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Eric. Okay, well I'm probably going to be murdered in my sleep by the computer. Great, but what do you think? Do you think Lemoyne is right and Lambda is essentially a really lonely Skynet? Or do you think he's full of it and Google was right to can him? Let me know down below. If you dug this content, be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz and like, comment, subscribe, super thanks, ring that bell for notifications, and join our Discord where you can meet other science nerds like you. And hey, check out all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy.